How many of you panicked? How many of you lost your faith? That fear just threw you to the side. You panicked and said, we need to go get water. We need to stock up on paper, paper towels and toilet paper. We need to blah, blah, blah. There were a lot of people, they panicked. They went straight out there and started buying. Some of them had stuff at home that they had from the last pandemic. Okay. During COVID, they said, yeah, but I came out to get some more. Panic, fear. They've taught us that. Buying stuff, they taught us that. And the fear is there. The fear is so there that we needed toilet paper. Take a shower that we needed paper towels. Get some regular towels, kitchen towels, whatever. It was just panic. It was fear. It was, we've got to go out there and get it. And what happened, even though they said, you know, I remember the president going, no, I'm not going to intervene. And then they intervene. Now think about why would they intervene? Because there's an election coming up, right? So they they had to intervene a little bit there. He had to call and find out, you know, you guys hold this off until January. And hoping they get a contract, gave him a few things percentage-wise and got everything settled before the election. There's always a motive. And you got to think when you're getting ready to do something with money, there's always a motive somewhere. Some of you stocked up and you needed that money for something else. Or you took money from something else because you hadn't saved money for that. Some of you, you just ruined your grocery budget. Or some other something you were going to get. It just disturbed it all together. Or maybe you didn't have it in the first place. So you had to go run up a credit card to get toilet paper, this, that. You weren't intending to go to the store. That's why I tell you, intentional money. It doesn't know where it's going to be spent. And sometimes you don't know. And you, I told you the other day, you have to prepare for the future, even if it was something going on, so that you're able to go and not feel that crush of, I just messed up. I just went buying all this stuff. And some people, you're living in fear. You have no faith. Yes, I know things happen. I know struggles happen. But I'm going to tell you, I didn't even move out. I didn't even go out. I was like, I'm not going out there. I said, God's going to take care of it. There's no reason for me to go out there because I had already... You know, I did the pantry thing last month. I The food was there. I'm fine. I'm not going out there and dealing with these people. Standing in the grocery store. And they were there. They wiped out the, you know, all the lanes and things at different places. Costco, Kroger's, they were just going. And the stores didn't mind. You know they didn't mind. You just put money into their pocket. They're going to have a wonderful weekend. And some people are still out there buying money that they didn't have, that they had to pull out. And some had it. But most of them, you you weren't prepared to go get it. You got to be prepared with something like that. You got to know what you're doing. You got to know, is it fear driving you? Which that shouldn't be fear. But fear's driving you. That's what they want you to do. Oh, you know when they put an ad out, this is only going to last so many days. We're just doing this ad one day to day only. It's going to be a deal online right now. And you rush out there and some of the stuff you don't need, remember? Some of the stuff we do not need. Do not live in fear. Prepare for fear. Okay, right now, after you went through that dilemma, you need to slowly stock up if you need to stock up so that if that creeps through your doorway again, you don't have to go out there. I didn't have to go out there because it was like, never mind, I'm not dealing with that. We got enough. I've already did this. 
Take your time and don't sit there and wipe out the whole place where others people can't get it. And you're taking it and hoarding it. Some woman had uh, like two shopping carts and she still said, I still got stuff from the last time. I still got toilet paper from the last COVID. That's over going. And then you're going to tell everybody about it. Shouting to the rooftops how wonderful you are for for hoarding all this stuff. And then it didn't come to pass. So you got your stuff at home. But don't live in fear. I didn't say not do it. Yes, we have to take heed. We don't know what God is doing. But we also have to watch people. We have to watch us. We got to watch the government. Because, you know, it's election time, and they go, all of a sudden, there's a strike. Then there wasn't a strike. And it was like, why now? Why would you do this so many days before the election? Hmm. So, today, this is Frugality is Life. It's from her um, Savings Challenge booklet that's on Etsy. Not Etsy, it's on Amazon that she has and she has some other things on here there she has a shop so i thought i better do some more stuff i'm trying to get things wrapped up and things won't get wrapped up but i'll just add it all together and start all over again if i have to so here we go i got a hundred dollars and we're gonna add this up as we go and they're in fives and then i got eighty dollars of fives and a 20 for the winner that has the most. And I'm using prop money because I take and I transfer it in. And I actually have a savings account called Frugality is Life <laughs> for this, this um, booklet. So to keep track of it. So here we go. Who is first to get the $5? Number three. Number five, it's right there, Butterfly Dreams, Butterfly. Two, the Save Master Mystery. One, Save for Your Love. Two, the Save Master Mystery. Four, it's sweater, sweater, weather, weather. <laughs> Tongue tester. Three. Travel the globe to the Save Master Mystery. It's having a party. It's getting it. Six, it's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. Four, the weather. I won't say the other one. The day, it's like blah, blah, blah. Three, travel the globe. Four, weather. Come on, I'm glued. Thank you very much. One is Save for Your Love. Five is The Butterfly Dreams. Four is The Weather. It is The Weather. Okay, I'm glued. Thank you. Five is Butterfly Dreams. And our last one is number one, Save for Your Love. So who has the mo most? So number one has three. Number two has three, right? Number three has three. Number four, one, two, three, four has four. Number five, three. And number six, one. So the weather gets the extra $20. So they'll have 20, 30, and 40. Okay, so we'll get those in. I hope you are having a great evening, because it's evening now for me. Okay, I was going to record earlier, and it was just, you get ready to record, and something happens. That's what happens. You know, people walking in, phone calls, da da dee da dee and, you know, still got to go to work tonight, but, you know, just kept going on my side hustle job, which I actually love. They're trying to get me to stay permanently. Uh I don't know if I even want to do that, but that's nice. But anyway, 
take care and see somebody is messaging me now and so i'm gonna get off of here see you later people my little alligators my boo babies my boo bears twos and ones and whatever bye bye peeps